Okay, this is a very famous second generation abstract expressionist called Paul Jenkins. His paintings go from 30,000 to 100,000. This he did a calendar, it's 12 different images, and they're lithographs and they're signed in the plate. You want to tour inside? Hmm? Yeah, each one is different. It's very t he pours paint, he doesn't use a brush, he pours his paints. The colors are gorgeous, you can see. So I'm selling this either separately or as a whole. Mm -hmm. These two are a very famous photographer, photojournalist photographer named David Douglas Duncan. Mostly famous for his, he became friends with Pablo Picasso and was allowed into the villa that Picasso lived in. And this is part of a portfolio of 12. And this was from Morocco. Mm -hmm. And then, while I have things that are by well-known artists, I also have, this is a really good abstract expressionist painting. It's not signed. Can you hold it up? If it were by a famous artist in the gallery I used to work for, it would be 100000 to 200 but here it's only $120. Really nice brush strokes on that. This is a contemporary artist. <laughs> what is her name? <laughs> her name is uh, Marsha Bennett. Mm -hmm. And this again is a real famous photographer and that's a very famous photograph. He photographed Versace and Chanel and Michael Jackson, Madonna. Mm -hmm. This is the guy who designed The Love. I tried to do a copy of it so you could see. This is about a movie they made about him, Robert Indiana. He did a very famous love artwork that we see all over the place, and this is a poster. This is a woman, Hilla von Rebe. She talked Solomon Guggenheim into buying modern paintings and then into opening a museum. So the Guggenheim Museum was really thanks to her. And this is a series of pochoirs, hand-painted lithographs that she did. This is one of several that I have. And again, they're signed in the play. This is what's called a listed artist, meaning he has an auction record, and it's a very subtle, really hard to do surrealist watercolor. This is very tricky, this spider web. And this is a contemporary abstract expressionist artist. She's probably in her 80s, Sonia Eisenberg. She does really very pretty, colorful paintings. This is a copy of an Andy Warhol. Instead of spending a million dollars, you can get one for 25. I've sold three of these Marilyns so far. And this is from the Louvre Museum in Paris. When Napoleon went to Egypt, the sand was so high that he was level with the tops of the, uh, of the pyramids and the sphinxes. His artist drew, and it, these were engravings, and this is a copy of a 19th century engraving. And then here, this is Richard Hennessy. He's a very, very good abstract expressionist artist. He's still around. And uh, he's got auction records. And this is an artist teacher in New Jersey who loved, there's an artist named Albers who did these famous geometric paintings in the 40s, 50s, 60s. And she was very inspired by him, so she did a whole bunch of them. And I bought her estate out years ago. And the birds and the flowers are my paintings. I started to artist. paint. Basically, when I moved into a uh, townhouse that had a garden, and I bought all these catalogs for flowers for the garden, but the garden was all filled, so I started to paint flowers. And I've been in a couple of shows, and the New York Botanical Gardens gave me a show. And basically, um, they're inspired, you can tell, by Georgia O'Keeffe. And I have some really, long, I have a photographs of larger ones. And uh, I don't know if you want to, this is like a conglomerate a collage of all the paintings. Once in a while I do a bird or a cow because I get tired of doing flowers. I need a break. Actually, this is this is the bird. Everybody, this bird painting. These are all larger, so I couldn't bring them with me.